Hi everybody and welcome to the Club Fungus Studio. Yo, yo. Today we're going to be having some inside insights into the studio and what goes on in a gadget filled creation. So here we go. As you can see, I've been to the dentist today and he said I have a beautiful smile. So hello everybody. Let's get going, should we? Okay, come on. Well, what we're going to do today is connect all these little gadgets up. So we've got a Racket Drum Synth, a Racket Baby 8, a Racket Atari Punk console, and a small Atari console, which is just like little sound. LFL creators really like. Um, and what it is, this has got a run by batteries. Batteries, batteries, batteries. All run by batteries. This sends a, a CV signal out from the duet for dark time. CV signals out into the uh, the Baby 8 and the uh, Racket Drum Synth. Also, this has its own little power supply coming out from this little breakout box here. It goes into the... It also sends CV signals into the... You can actually send CV and gate signals out and different clock signals and into different things, 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 things. things. This hasn't got one. I'm just going to be playing that one live, so that just makes some noises and weird and wacky, wonderful things. Over here, we've got we've got the pocket arcade and the pocket rhythm. This one just makes sort of gaming type sounds and stuff. And this one's for the rhythm, for the for the drums. But this one will give the main kick sort of beat, even though it's not a it's a drum synth. It's not actually a drum as such, like. Um, and then. Th these are triggered by uh, a Korg SQ-1. And this has got some CV gate outs triggering both the rhythm and the arcade pocket operators. So coming out of the, into the, and it sends a clock signal and you can control the voltages with these knobs here. It sends a different voltage and you can get the pattern running right and nice. Also handy on the, uh, the Korg SQ-1 has got a little bits out and I happen to have some little bits here and I've, I've screwed this it's almost like Lego type stuff onto the, uh, the top of my worktop here because I use it all the time and I can make different modules up so what I've got here I've got you got a power module I've got a random generator which is just generating some noise just so to trigger the CV so it's got something to, to trigger and then it, it, it's it's sending these pulses into these two oscillators here, these pulse oscillators, and then these are mixed. So just get the levels right on the little tiny mixer here, and then into a, a filter. So you get some sweeping effects and a delay. So just get everything swirling about and and nice and all fluid. And then up here again on, on the dark time duet for we've got we've got clock signal coming out and into the Korg MS-10 so that's just triggering that giving a like a pulse signal so it's all kind of been set ready to for me to sort of perform and, and, and do whatever ever, ever, ever. and all that's been triggered by by Cubase which is sending um, a USB and MIDI signals into that so that that triggers when I press play on there and record on there, that triggers that and everything starts playing, including the dark time. So that's been triggered by Cubase 2. Also, the the Motu is triggering the, the TB3 Roland. So that'll just be doing a few little sequences as well. And also over here, we've got an Ovation Base Station 2 keyboard and that'll just be doing a few pulses as well so there we go we've got all all this st stuff set up ready to to pulse away also the the audio signal from the ms10 is going into the the, 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 the yes it's going into the pedals so it's going through the through the patch bay and then out and through and in in in, in. where are we we're into the into the pedals here so, 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 it's so. passing through the a DD20 digital delay, 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 delay. We've also got a Ravish sitar. It's quite nice, creamy, e-throw effects off that, especially on guitars. 
where I'm going to stick the MS-10 to it today. And a, a Moulin tremolo pedal, 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 pedal. A very nice tremolo, handmade those things, quite hard to come by. Heavy metal HM2, straight out the 80s. Dr. Swamp T-Rex for distortion to get some big fat noises. I've got a wire there, but I've run out of batteries because all these little things take loads of batteries. And don't look at me mug. <laughs> also, that, um, that little bit is running into one, a little, a little, a little reverb pedal as well, just to give it a bit more, a bit more uh, to the to the sound too. And it's got the delays and the stuff, but just adds a little bit more. Uh, and they're very nice those TC electronic tonic pedals. Only tiny, like, but the cracking little reverbs. So there we go. We, we've got the. The basic setup, up, 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 up. and uh, I've got a, a camera on my head, and hopefully we'll be able to record some uh, some some images and, and whatnot as we go. So, okay, let's let's, let's fire up. Remember to press record and play at the same time. <laughs> 